if someone offered me a program on condition I promise not to share it with you, I would say no, because it's unethical to agree to such a condition. It's unethical to break solidarity with everyone else to get something for myself. If my neighbors are promising not to share with me, that's not just their business. That's hurting me. It's hurting my whole community. Anyone who goes around through my community offering people some nice thing they can have if they promise not to share it, that's poisoning my community. That's a social problem. The existence of that software is a social problem. And I regard the free software movement as an attempt to solve that social problem. The existence of non-free software as tempting people to betray each other, tempting people to to break off with help cooperation with their neighbors. That is a social problem. It shouldn't exist. It's obvious that the thing that makes the issue of free versus proprietary software exist is the fact that people can copy and share software. Now, this is the first thing I thought about. If you, if you couldn't copy something and share it, then there'd be no issue about whether you were allowed to copy and share it. Nobody's trying to forbid us to copy and share tables or copy and share sandwiches, because there are no copiers for them. If there were copiers for tables or sandwiches, you'd probably find attempts to prohibit ordinary people from using it to restrict these copiers to the mega corporations, so that they could become uh, instruments of increasing domination over people rather than for people to be free and cooperate with each other. But we don't have that issue because our technology doesn't include copiers for tables or sandwiches. In what, and when we couldn't copy written works, when there were, you know, before the technology for conveniently copying them in small quantities, Copyright was an industrial regulation, in effect, and that made it fairly uncontroversial. The general reading public wasn't <clears throat> up in arms about copyright as a restriction because it didn't restrict anything that they could actually do anyway. But once copiers exist, then the question of whether people are allowed to use them becomes a real question instead of an imaginary question. And that's the situation we're in with software.